Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're reviewing two customs I recently made for my other channel, Poppy DIY Crafts. Poppy DIY Crafts is a channel made for 13 plus as the crafts are much harder and require more skills. So for this channel, I'm doing a shortened summary review of the project because I know many of you are My Little Pony fans. If you want to see the full tutorial, head over to my other channel, Poppy DIY Crafts. For these two customs, I made Twilight Sparkle and Princess Celestia's mane and tail out of resin. This is a hard material that starts off as a liquid and then cures or hardens into a plastic-like clear material. Let's start with Twilight Sparkle. For this custom, the base pony is going to be Princess Celestia. The first thing we want to do is cut off the hair. We're going to replace it so we'll cut it as close to the scalp as possible. Let's also cut off the tail. Now let's create the hair. With a flat piece of clay, we will cut out the shape of her flowing mane. We'll place it against her head to make sure it fits. Then we'll do the same thing with her front bangs. Cut out the shape of the clay and then shape it to her head. Since this is oven baked clay, I don't want to melt the pony, we're going to use a heat gun to semi harden the clay. Now we're going to make the highlights in Twilight's hair. We'll roll out strands of pink and purple clay and then carefully roll it flat. We'll place the highlights on top of the larger pieces of clay and then bake them together. Here are the final pieces. Now we're ready to make a mold of the hair. We're going to place the pieces of clay into the mold making material. Once it's cooled, we can remove it. Using UV resin, we're going to start with purple on the bottom, blue in the middle, and dark blue near the top. Then, we'll add glitter to give it some sparkle and swirl it a bit. Finally, we'll place the clay highlights on top. With UV light, we'll cure it again. Let's move on to the other pieces. Here's the front bang. Since this piece is small, I'm going to pour in the resin one color at a time and then cure each layer. We're going to start with the dark blue, then add the purple near the tip, and then pour in the resin on top, then blue on top of that. Okay, now for the back mane. This piece is much harder to do because it's curved and not flat, so we will fill and cure the resin bit by bit. And here is the result! So the resin itself doesn't really look that great. I think this might be due to the UV resin not fully curing. The mold is quite thick and not fully transparent, so maybe the UV light isn't getting through. I actually made a different mold using silicone, but the colors turned out too light. So I ended up using the original. Now we can paint the pony. The resin hair was a long, tedious process and took many days to complete. This part should go faster. We will start by painting Twilight's body. After that, we're going to paint the eyes. Once the eyes are done, we'll then paint the cutie mark. Now 
So let's take a look at the pony. Overall, I think Twilight looks pretty good. I like the way she looks with her wings spread out. What I did was use my heat gun to soften the plastic and then hold the wings apart till it cooled down and set. Alright, now for my second attempt. We're going to take some lessons learned from Twilight and apply it to Celestia's custom. Just like Twilight, I made a mold of Celestia's mane using oven baked clay. The mane consists of three pieces, a short piece in the front, a long piece in the back, and a small piece for the side. This time, with the clay that we're going to make the mold from, we're going to flatten it first before baking. Because resin takes about 12 hours to harden and 24 hours to fully cure, we can shape the resin while it's still soft. So here we go. We're pouring the mold making material into a container. Then add the clay pieces. And cover it with more mold making material. While we wait for it to cool, we're going to spread out Celestia's wings. Using a heat gun, we'll gently soften the wings without melting it and then hold it as it cools down. That way, the shape will hold once it's cool. The mold is now solid, we can cut and remove the clay. We're going to mix the resin and add colors for Celestia's hair. Then, we're going to carefully fill the mold with the resin. It's easier to layer the colors when it's flat. Once we're done, we're going to wait. So it's been about 6 hours and the resin has set into its final shape but not completely hardened. At this time, we're going to take it out of the mold and let it finish curing outside the mold on the pony. As you can see, it's still a little bit soft. Now we're going to attach it to Celestia's head. Let's put the two pieces in position first and then secure it with some super glue. Alright, now we can take out the tail. So I've gone ahead and glued the end of the tail to the body and then with some masking tape, I'm curling the tail a little bit so that it doesn't stick straight out. I'm using the tape to pull and secure it so that it stays curved. Now we're going to wait overnight for it to fully cure. And here is Celestia so far. What do you think? I think she looks really beautiful. So the resin is matte right now and not shiny because the mold is not shiny. But we can fix this by adding another layer of resin on top. We're going to do this with UV resin so that we don't have to wait another day for it to cure. We're also going to use the resin to even out the sections along the edges where it's thinner. And also the tail here. Give it a nice coat of resin. The UV cures the resin in just a few minutes so this is so much faster. Alright everyone and here is Princess Celestia. What do you think? I am actually really happy with the result of this project. Just take a look at Celestia. She is so beautiful. So her hair is super shiny because this resin is super shiny. And I just love the little colors coming through. And because this is resin, you can kind of see through it. So that gives it that really cool look. Here's an up close look. So here is the front piece of the mane kind of flowing off to the side and connects with the side piece, the back piece of the mane. And here on the end, it kind of curls up a little bit. Here is the tail. The tail is actually a really long piece, but instead of sticking straight out, we have it curved a little bit to the side. So I think one improvement I could make is um, 
making the colors more real to Princess Celestia. Here the blues and greens actually did have three colors, however they kind of all blended and they were too close to each other so you can barely see the differences. There's some lighter blues and a little bit of a darker blue but you can't see the green at all. And here on the back piece of the mane, there's just a little bit too much pink. So somehow I have to figure out a better way to control the colors and make them stand out and also stay in their place. The same thing with the tail here. The pink kind of took over a large section of the tail and then you can't really see the dark blue or the green. They're kind of just a mix of bluish green. However, I still think she turned out really, really beautiful. And just to compare, of course, we do have Princess Twilight Sparkle here in her grown-up form. I had some difficulty getting the resin to set because we made the mold curved and was really hard to get that resin in there. But I think she turned out really nice too. So here are my two resin ponies. So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my Princess Celestia. Do you like her? If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye!